Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about manual J heat load calculations for a one story home, part one. All right, all right, so let's get into it. So, in the previous video, what we did is we imported a PDF so that way we can trace our rooms and we can have a better dimension. So, we have option one have the pdf or the floor plans on the side and just try to draw it based on the dimensions but option number two is to import the pdf so in this case what we did is we imported that and as you all remember we changed the grid settings to one by one so a very good tip is that we change the settings at least to six by six or 12 by 12 okay so let's go there so what we have in here is the floor plan already imported but we're gonna go here to drawings go to grid settings and then as you can see in here the grid is one by one inch so we're gonna change that to six by six and then a snap is going to be six by six. Okay, there we go. Now, if you want to see better, as you can see, we have the grid settings right there. Okay. So secondly, what we're going to do, as you can see here, the PDF is locked. So we, I cannot move the PDF. So I'm going to unlock the PDF, double clicking in here on the tree, sheet tree, double click, and then I'm going to be able to move it. Okay, so I'm going to move it. So still, it's not consigning with anything in here. Actually, it is. Okay, it is. See? All right. See, as you can see in here, it's going to be in, where I'm going to draw it in, in here. So it's all good. So what I'm going to do next is going to lock this PDF so it doesn't interfere with anything. So PDF, double click in the sheet tree, it's locked. All right? So let's start uh, drawing the rooms. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to building so that way I can enable it. I'm going to go to building. So as you can see in here in the HVAC shapes tool, this is enabled. And one more thing, I need to make sure that this is already selected, the room. And I'm, so that way I'm going, I'm not going to have to go back and forth. Let's see. I'm going to draw a room and the next thing, see, I'm going to have to do this for every room, see, uh, because it doesn't select it. I'm going to go here into options and to proposal into drawing and it says in here, repeat last selection. I'm going to check on that. Checked. There you go. So every time I go to room, I don't have to go back. See, it's already under room. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the pointer, delete this, and then delete. All right, let's start with it. Okay, so let's start drawing this. We're going to start with one bedroom. So in here, we have bedroom, owner's bedroom. So I'm going to draw that, and I'm going to show you this amazing trick, which is called merge rooms. Let's start with the easy parts. Okay, so draw a room. I'm going to draw a room right here, right here. There we go. I have that room. Okay. There we go. So what are we going to call this? We're going to call this owner's bedroom, as it says. Okay, right here. Owner's bedroom. Owner's bedroom. Okay, owner's bedroom. There we go. Perfect. And now I'm going to... But now, before that, you can always hide the PDF. What I'm going to do right now is hide it. So this is checked. I'm going to uncheck it and it's hidden. Okay, so why am I doing this right now? Because I'm going to establish my envelope values for one room. And then after that, I'm just going to copy to the every single room based on these properties. Okay, so let's make sure that the first bedroom is correct. Okay, so what we're going to do is like right click. Okay, we're doing right click. And then we're going to take care of this. So in the room, we have owner's bedroom included in the calculations. Yes. Entire house. Yes. Room heating conditioning is not going to be hydronic. It's going to be air only. Room heat 
cooling condition is going to be at only room type it doesn't matter room height let's put it as nine could be eight but let's put it as nine as average doesn't affect it so much in this case internal loads i'm gonna put it as zero later we will put the values of internal loads this part is very important it says duck heat loss factor duck sensible heat gain and then duck latent heat that's very important okay so that refers where is you where are your ducks located in this case my ducks are going to be located in the attic so if it's going to be located in the attic let's go here and then you have in here supply return in here we're going to put where in a vented attic return is going to be in a vented attic okay so now for the supply it's going to be radial perimeter radial yes so we're gonna have this combination in later in the future we can go deeper on these details so there we go we have all of this and then the rest is going to be populated automatically all right so now let's go to the wall the wall is gonna have an insulation so uh, this has to be established in the beginning. You have to ask the owner, the client, or you have to have these values which are called envelope values. We have four envelope values for the slab, R10, for the walls, R15, for the ceiling, R38, for the windows, 0.3 and 0.2 solar heat gain coefficient and you can also you need to know also the location is going to be in Fairfax Virginia and then you have to know the type of system one system one split system located in the attic so with that we have every, every all the information we need for now okay so now based on that what is the wall the wall is going to be in this case exposed as we created the library in the other videos exposed to wall r15 that's gonna be okay and then let's go to the ceiling in the ceiling we have r38 r38 will be ceiling see ceiling r38 okay so r38 there we go and then for the floor is going to be floor slab floor slab r10 you're able to create this so you can even put a carpet here see carpet okay so you're able to create all those libraries and you're gonna be good okay there we go so this this bedroom is completely uh, established with the parameters that we need and you can always copy paste see because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy paste it, copy paste it everywhere. So that's why. So if, if you copy paste, for example, this is already, see, with the insulation, with everything else. So that's a very good trick. So now we're going to continue with the windows. So that way later we can put windows. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna bring back the PDF. The PDF is right here. I have two windows. For those two windows, what we're going to do is actually, uh, we're going to put the dimensions of the windows so let's go here and then uncheck this so the windows uh let's continue doing this okay so for the windows we have these windows right here one and two so there you go so that window okay you can always check it and check it so i'm gonna establish the properties of these windows too so what kind of window is this this is gonna be a window called uh low e single could be low is single right here we have low is single the one that we created right and you can even in the description you can put the brand ply gem anderson whichever is good so yeah, the u value for the windows is 0.3 solar heat going coefficient 0.2 this is going to be operable window vinyl and then closed low e uh, clear low e so we have okay in here and now the dimensions what are the dimensions of the window usually this is going to be presented in the floor plan but as uh, you know in this case we can put a window that is three, 350 so three feet width five inches tall all right there we go five inches tall there we go for the windows and then also we're gonna have for the windows this foreground reflectance is 0.2 al albedo okay so there we go we're all good oh now also we need to make sure that this internal shade is 45 degree medium blinds okay as an average okay there we go so we have this window we have this this let's go check on the window right here okay 
35. Okay, there we go. We're all good and ready to go. One more thing is to apply the merch. The, the, oh, good morning, everyone. I'm just kidding. So now let's go here. PDF. Okay, now we have owner's bedroom and now we, but the owner's bedroom have this part. So uh, we're going to go to the building. We're going to create another room right here. You see, we're going to complete. It's like completing boxes. That's the easiest way to do it. There we go. So see, this is the owner's bedroom. However, see, I created another owner's bedroom and this part. The owner's bedroom is this rectangle plus this part. So what we have to do in here is we're going to apply the merge option. This is one of my favorite tools, merge option. How do you apply that? You go here, see, in here it's going to automatically going to tell you merge options it's not telling you anything why because you have to select first i'm going to select first owner's bedroom hold shift room 10 now this will be enabled it says merge rooms so now you click on it and you did wonderful because this is the most favorite trick i always had in in in, in writesoft and you can see is the complete owner's bedroom right here. Perfect. So we're going to go along and do the same thing for all of these rooms. Okay. So let's do this. So we're going to go here again. So there we go. Uh, we're going to go here. Okay. So we're going to go back. But we show how to use the merge rooms. Now what I'm going to do is just boxes because I, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do this very quickly. Okay. So at the end, I'm going to merge whichever is very, uh, whichever needs to be merged. For, so that way we can create the rooms. Okay. Let's continue. So as I, as you can see, I did control Z and then I don't have this room anymore because, but I'm sure I'm going to show you why L later. I'm going to show you why. Okay. So let's continue with this. So I'm going to, I'm going to hide these grids. Okay. Now let's go do this, uh, quicker. Okay. So what I'm going to do is hold control, click on the room and then put it to the side. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be the great room, great room. Okay. Perfect. And then the great room is going to be go down all, all, all the way here. There we go. Now, great room. Here we go. And then we're going to go here and then gonna, gonna have another room right there, right here. There we go. And then go up a little bit more. There. Oh, okay. So now this is going to be the kitchen. See, the kitchen is going to include the pantry. So I, I, you, you're going to see how is the, the process of doing this. I'm going to go, go shift control this. I'm going to have this bedroom. There we go. Bedroom number two. I'm going to have this bath. What I'm just doing is copying boxes. This is the bathroom right here, but the bathroom is going to need another box right here. There we go. I'm just copying. I'm just going to copy boxes, rectangles. So at the end, I'm going to merge. Merge is the best friend in this case. Okay. So I'm doing this for the bedroom number three. Okay. Perfect. But I'm going to need another room right here. So I'm going to make another box. That's going to be for the closet. See, I'm going to make it bigger. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to need another room for the foyer, foyer, foyer right there, right there. There we go. And I'm going to need another room for the garage and for the garage. There we go. And then make it bigger. And then I'm going to go again, click on any, any room, hold control and then drag it. So that's going to copy it automatically. Okay. So there we go. Make it a box and then make it better. There we go. Now I need another room for the closet. The closet is right there. Okay. There we go. And then for the closet, I'm going to make this smaller. There we go. Smaller. And then the, the, the box that I needed there, that is, that it was smaller, right? There, there you go. Okay. So it looks like everything else is taken but now one more thing we have a laundry room right here let's do the laundry room right there there we go and then here you go laundry room okay one more thing also we have a kitchen okay we have this part portion right here okay yeah this is gonna be the foyer 
let's do the great room foyer yeah let's do that foyer okay so last box right here last couple of boxes we're gonna put right here everything has to be completed and filled up there we go and then my final box the mechanical room right there final box right there there we go okay so as you can see we created boxes and this is all completed now we're gonna merge it, merge them all okay so as you can see this blue part is the exposed area but now let's let's merge it okay so now the bedroom is going to be merged you click in there and you're gonna hold shift click room 22 right here room 22 and then these uh this icon right here that says merge rooms there we go it's merge merged okay so now the the, the room number 12 plus room number 25 and then you hit merge and then in there you're gonna have a combination of dining there you go dining and kitchen slash kitchen a combination there we go last kitchen okay so next one is going to be this bedroom bedroom number two so this is bedroom two okay for this you have bathroom see bathroom bathroom oh you can put bath but uh that's gonna be only but we have two bedrooms so you can put only bath there we go and now for bedroom number three, you have, oh, this bathroom is going to be merged with this because this is part of the room, uh, part of the bathroom. So you click here, you click here and you click on merge. There we go. And then for bedroom number three, you click in here, bedroom three, bedroom three, and then you click both and then you merge. There we go. You're merged. And now this part, this portion is foyer. Okay. Foyer okay now this foyer is going to be associated with this room 24 this is the whole foyer okay there we go okay foyer now this is going to be actually the laundry room let's put it here laundry laundry there we go and then this part is actually uh, uh let's we have to merge this with someone so let's put this part of the foyer to this room number two and then later we can always split it so this is a closet let's put walking closet or closet and and you might tell you might be thinking why did you consider in here the closet and in here you didn't put any closet because this is a small closet we might not put a register there because it's so small so it's going to be part of the bedroom but this closet is actually very big so we have to put a register so that's why we're making an as independent room okay so now the owner's bathroom is right there okay let's put that owners owners bathroom there you go all right so let's see what we have here so if we see this oh perfect there we go we have oh so lastly i'm gonna put in here the garage garage and you know the garage is not going to be conditioned so that way we're gonna put in the rooms in the room we're gonna put con in included in the calculations no is not going to be included and also in here we're gonna put add only none and add only for return calling and hitting none there we go unless you're conditioning okay so add only none and then none that's there you go so that way this is not included perfect okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and you did hit the like button and subscribe share the video this is always very helpful okay in the next video we're going to be talking about the next process of this heat load calculation which is orientation we have to fill out project information and then the next steps okay thank you so much and see you in the next video